good afternoon. Um, here's some papers of some stuff I've been working on um, uh, regarding prime numbers. I uh, posted a video a few years ago, um, but I deleted it for some reason. But I wanted to share this and just to see if I could get any feedback on how to develop it further because it seems I need, I know I need to, I need to come up with a good prime checking algorithm to program this, but this is just a theoretical standpoint. So basically, it's based on Bertrand's postulate, which for all x greater than or equal to 2, there's at least one prime in between x and 2x. And we see that when, well, this is just an example. When x equals 4, 2x equals 8. And then we got 5 and 7 in between there. So we got two primes in between x and 2x. So what about when x, equal, when x equals 2x? Um, the next frame, the next um, iteration of the Bertrand frame. And this is what led me to my little discovery. So we've got primes in between 8 and 16 and in between 4 and 8. And then if we, if we plot them on the number line, we begin to see some patterns emerging. Uh, I'm sorry about the shadow. I can't seem to get it to go away. These lights are terrible. Okay, that's better. Better with the light off. Okay, so as we can see, this is, I've, I've, as you can see, I started with x equals four and x equals 5, x equals 6, and x equals 7, and around a space. Um, and then as you, so as you follow along, when x equals 4, 2x equals 8, and 4x equals 16. And in between 5 and, in between 4 and 8, we've got 5 and 7. And what, I, what I've found is if you start jumping the primes over, you're going to start landing on primes. Boom. You miss one here. Seven jumps over and lands on nine. So that, that's where if I, need to, if I can uh, program this, uh, I need a good prime checking algorithm. But because it, it, hits, it, it hits composite numbers, fairly often but it's guaranteed to find prime numbers every time because so five jumps eight five is three away from eight and three away from eight on the other side is eleven and then seven jumps into nine and that's not a hit so then we move up x equals five two x equals ten three x equals fifteen on yeah, so uh, we keep going. So x equals 5. And in between 5 and 10, the only prime in between 5 and 10 is 7. 7 is 3 away from 10. 3 on the other side of 10 is 13. Boom. And it just keeps going like this. And I have I plotted using a compass. I need, I'm... I really need to program this, but this is basically what it looks like. This is to scale as best I can, and hopefully there aren't any errors. And I eliminated the um, uh, the the non-prime fines, but as you can see. There, it's still very difficult to, to define the gaps, but as x, as x gets larger and larger, the density of primes or the number of primes in between x and 2x grows, and um, the number of new primes that are found um, increases. But so I wrote a paper 
and I'm still working on it. Um, but basically, so what it amounts to is I found a prime generator formula, and it's basically uh, 4x minus the prime, um, and that just gives you the, it reflects it across 2x. Let's see, here's another example. When x equals 15, the, number, the primes in between 15 and 30 are 17, 29, 23, and 29. And we apply the function, we see that. We get the numbers 43, 41, 37, and 31. And, yep, in that example, all of them are prime. So sometimes, like, let's see, this is a better, if you can see, this column is X, and then we have the prime in between X and 2X, and as, it, as we go down, as X increases, then the number of primes increases, and we just list those. And then over here, this is the function and what it produces. Um, it's the same as the little rainbow that we showed. But what, it, as you can see, the, the light gray boxes are where it finds a prime successfully. And the darker boxes, which were red in, in Excel, but I printed out in black and white, those are the non primes and uh, the well actually the dark the dark dark the black ones are non primes dark grays are new primes and light gray is uh this is a a duplicate prime one that's been found twice and as you see, as we go down you see new primes are f everywhere this is highlighted there's a new prime found uh, in that iteration and it skips a couple around 12 and 13 you still find primes every time there's non primes but you still find primes but you're only finding duplicate primes in some of these cycles and that's the that's where uh, some of the redundancy needs to be eliminated in this algorithm and that's what I did whenever I was uh, trying to, uh, somebody mentioned um, uh, gold box conjecture and how this related to it. And I, and I did some figuring and, um, and I have a, a sketch of a proof for gold box conjecture. Basically, Gold box can be all the if we split the even numbers into those that are uh, divisible by two to uh, only and an odd number, and those that are two, uh, divisible by two and an even number. So any any power of two greater than two two raised to the two or more if that factors into the into that even number but um so since my pattern is 4x minus p the prime well since the the pattern shows that there's there's a prime on either side of 2x so wherever we find 2x, there's a prime on either side of an equidistant to 2x. And so the, this one is 2x minus 3. This one is 2x plus 3. Or 2x plus 3. Um, so you add those together and you get 4x. So that supports Goldbach. Um, so that supports um, part of gold block, the ones that are divisible by four, the numbers that are only divisible by, see, numbers that are divisible by four, numbers divisible by two only, 
have prime and composite components or uh, factors and so we, we have, these are in notation form we have this and if we let yeah let's see let those two sets um, yeah so my pattern proves Goldbach holds in set B and so we only need to prove that Goldbach holds when it is um, when the, the even number is the is the fact is, is divisible by an odd number and two and, and only one power of two um, it's easy to show that when when p is or when um, 2a plus 1 is prime since 2 times a prime number is uh, is a prime plus a prime and so then we need to see to show that Goldbach holds in set a when uh, 2a plus 1 is composite and that led me back to my notebook and I start let's see I started with this and then and then I use gold and then I then I use the pattern based on my my trying to prove Goldbach and so I centered the pattern I started only on the only on the numbers that are divisible by two and an odd composite number so we've got 2 times 9, we've got 2 times 15, we've got 2 times 21, and that cuts down on a lot of the repetition, and I need to program this, but, and there's some, something may be able to be said about the slope of this line, I don't know if if it continues linearly or whether it starts to curve um, I guess it's, it's yet to be seen um, I'm, I'm, I'm not beating my brain over this really that much anymore like I, 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 just, I play with it here and there I'm just trying to see um, if anybody has any input or um, can maybe help me develop it a little bit further or see where it goes uh, I think or I, even if you even if, even if this is as far as it goes it's, I think it's pretty interesting um, it's a quick way to find prime numbers so I hope you enjoyed